welcome back and thank you for joining me here on my learning blog. Today we are going to work on polygons. You're going to be able to have the knowledge and well-knowing to help your child understand triangles. Now triangles are polygons that have three sides and three angles and the number the word try uh, kind of means three so that's another way to understand triangles. Now when we're classifying triangles, which is what we're doing today, what you wanna let your child understand is that we classify triangles based on two properties, their sides and their angles. Today we're gonna to work on classifying triangles based on their angles, okay? So, without further ado, a right triangle. Now, I like right triangles because I like pretending that I can do work around the house and I have this right triangle, you know, the tool, the angle tool, and it just makes me feel like a man, man, I guess. I don't know. Um, well, anyway, a right triangle is a triangle that has one right angle. So it will have two angles that are less than a right angle or less than 90 degrees, but one angle will be exactly 90 degrees. And that's pretty much how you can tell if a triangle is a right triangle. Um, generally speaking, right triangles will have that little square to show it. So it's like telling your child, it's like forming an L and then putting a little angle here and you have a right triangle or a line here, I'm sorry. And you have a right triangle, okay, if you take an object such as a square, a rectangle, or a rectangle, and you cut them in half, you will form two right triangles. See? I'm not lying. Not joking. So you form two right triangles that way. A right triangle is just one half of a square or a rectangle. All right, that's great to know. Great to know. Now, what are non-right tri triangles or what are examples of non-right triangles? Well, let's look at these three triangles and I will show you how you can explain to your child they're not right triangles. So let's take this one first, all right? This acute, acute little angle, all right? So um, this angle here has three angles and they're all less than 90 degrees. And the way I can tell is if I put my finger up beside them, like an L, form the shape of an L and put it beside, that triangle will practically disappear because the angle, or it will be less than my finger, which would show that it's less than 90 degrees and it is less than a right angle, so they are not right angle triangles. This, this uh, shape here, this angle right here, as well as this angle here, are greater than 90 degrees, therefore they are obtuse angles and not right triangles. Um, so that kind of cancels both of them out. Right triangles are, are very good for your child to know because once they understand right triangles, it's easier to understand acute and obtuse angles with regards of classifying angles, uh, triangles based on their angles. Um, I hope you took something away from this and I hope that you're ready to go help your child out to understand these whole right triangles. And remember, form an L and if it takes that shape, then it is a right angle. All right, thank you again for joining me here on my learning block. I look forward to seeing you next time and keep learning with me.